you psychiatrist Does he beat around the bush? What's he prescribing you? Legs are pro, Xanax, it barely lets you function But you can at least manage a dose to dull the panic But now you never smile, the kids can't get you to play So they feel like they're on trial What's up guys, I'm Skulls And today we're going to be reacting to Romanticide by Nightwish. A couple weeks ago, I listened to them for the first time. I really enjoyed them. Really good live band. I would like to dive into the lyrics a little bit more, but I feel like the live performances aren't the greatest place to do that. So I would like a little feedback from you guys if that's okay. Would you guys want me to react to studio recorded versions off the albums? Because I feel like that's really the place to dissect the song. And these live performances are more of a place to just enjoy them and their talent. But you guys let me know in the comments. Either way, I'm just having fun listening to them. They're really cool. They're a really interesting band. I'm pretty big on like uh, original soundtracks and games, movies and all that. So I really appreciate the orchestral side of them as well. But yeah, it looks like we're no longer at the Vakin. I know I butchered it last video, but what are you gonna do? I'm also assuming it looks like that's Floor still being the lead vocalist. I know there's other lead vocalists and she's the most recent one. I also looked it up and I saw that Floor was performing with Nightwish back in like late 2012 and this happened in 2013. So I'm gonna assume it's her. I'm really excited because I was told that Ghost Love Story is a unique song and uh, there's not many songs they do where it's 10 minutes long. So I'm really curious what they sound like more in terms of a normal song length. But yeah, guys, if you're new here, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, helps the channel grow, helps the video reach more people, and I appreciate it so much. Let's dive in. getting swoon over here a little bit. <laughs> Let me calm down. Yeah, this still feels a lot like the first song, even though it's very different. It's more rock heavy instead of having so many orchestral elements. It's a much faster moving song too. I also realized too, this is Vakken. Ah. I have no clue why I thought it wasn't. So, sorry about that. But also guys, you might've noticed I turned off the closed captions. I feel like I was paying too much attention to the lyrics, not enough to the performance. Um, I actually forgot I turned them on before I start recording, so sorry about that. Love that.
arpeggios. Nice. Nice change up. Sorry guys, I got a little swept up in it. Uh, <laughs> I love how they play with time signatures and I love how wild that last half got. In the way Floor and the other guy, I'm sorry, I don't know his name. The other guy, the way they were like harmonizing and like bending their notes. Like there needs to be a high level of communication between the vocalists there. Also, I don't know why I was so surprised because you guys told me that there was a male vocalist who sings sometimes in there. But when he came in, I was just kind of like, Whoa. But as the song went on, I remembered you guys told me. I definitely like the switch up and I like that they have so many elements and textures they can apply to their music. And I like that they have a male vocalist that can go along with Floor. Because when they were harmonizing, it just sounded really good. There's just two completely different textures to their voices and they complemented each other really well. But I'm sorry, Floor is still my favorite. And she was definitely more in a lower register here compared to the other song. Not that that's a bad thing, and that's actually a good thing, I think. When you have a voice as crazy as Floor's, I imagine it would be easy to want to just show it off. And it takes someone with appreciation for the art to want to pull back sometimes, because some songs call for that. Some songs, you want to pull back and do that. And I mean, granted, I know that these songs were written by different people and the melodies were written by different people, but she came in and she's not abusing her liberties. And like I was saying too, this song just was much more fast paced. And as a result, I feel like the band stood out more than the last one. Like Floor stole the show for Ghost Love Story. But I feel like the band was more even here. Like everyone was killing it. The drummer was going nuts at the end. That guitar solo was nasty. I loved it. But yeah, this was really cool. I really like that I got to see a much fast paced rock version of them. I think it really worked well. Um, it still felt in character of the band. But yeah, very, very cool. But all right, guys, that was Romanticide by Nightwish. I appreciate you stopping in and hanging out with me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Helps the channel grow, helps the video reach more people, and I appreciate it so much. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a good day, good night, and as always, guys, I look forward to the next one. Peace.